Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Metal Banana and this is Mount and Blade Warbands. Is it Warbands or is it Warband? I always I, I just say one or the other and I'm, I'm never sure which one it is actually. Anyways, to be honest I've played about an hour or an hour and a half between this episode and the last one and I just wanted to show you what I did. I leveled up some guys, recruited some new Swadian recruits because some uh, I, I lost a man at arms, I think, or even two. Lost a Huskal during uh, during my play between episodes. I I don't level up the knights because they cost a crap ton each week, so I don't want to actually, you know, bump up my weekly costs at high. And as you can see, we have 4,600 dinars. That's actually what I wanted to do. I did about an hour and a half of trade runs. So basically that's what you missed, me running around trading. Also buying stuff. I bought a Morningstar, which is one of my favorite weapons, I don't know, it's not that great. It's not the best weapon in the game and I don't know why, but I like it. I like the way it, it plays, I don't know, it's it's just a great weapon for me, personally. Also I bought a, th uh, bought, I bought a uh, thick Huskull shield. This shield is one of the best in the game, and sometimes you just r run into it a lot, and then you're like, ah oh, man, I'd, I'd, I'd just buy it later, it's not that, that important to get that shield. But I really haven't seen any, and the first that jumped at me was actually a thick modifier, I can't put, put my mouse there so uh, to show you, but it's a, a thick one, and that modifies the price, I think, by one... 1.5 or something, so 1.5 times the normal amount, or even more or less, I don't know, it's it's pretty expensive. And I went down to about 400 dinars, uh, well, during my shopping spree. So, anything else? Oh yeah, right, we have a new character, we have, Ro uh, I think Rolf, you didn't see him, I found him uh, along the way, so I thought, yep, you're coming with us, he's got a horse, Borja got a horse, Mattel got a horse, and... RT now got his, I just call him RT. He has a mail shirt and a siege crossbow. I put him in the archer class, as you can see, I put everybody in their respective class. The sword sisters, oh, we have sword sisters now, each, even. Ha, huh, that's new. They're pretty expensive too, and pretty damn good troops. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So, I think we can move out and try to. Kill some Tundra Bandits down there. I fought some enemies, not too many. I, I I got I got to fight a bunch of Sea Raiders and Tundra Bandits and so on and so forth uh, on my trade runs. And I'm I'm gonna show you my trade route if you want to see it. It's not really important or that great. It's not the best one. It's not super optimized. Also, if you really want to, oh god damn it! Ah, uh, sorry, had to manage my units. Oh crap! So, basically, what you really want to do if you're going for trade runs, you want to have a fast party. So. The best thing you, uh, you can do is have a lot of cavalry, basically, because those guys move faster, if even. Uh, the less units you actually have, the better. It, the better it would be because you'll pay less per week. You should. St oh, damn it! Lost another man at arms. Uh, you should try to have. Just enough units to not get overrun by bandits. Also, as I said, it's it's pretty good if you have a lot of cavalry because they're faster. A lot of tracking skill helps. A lot of trade skill helps. And no, no, sorry, it's not tracking. It's um, pathfinding. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Makes you move faster. We lost the Swadian Man in Arms. That sucks. And yeah, basically that's that's all you can can really do. Bought a lot of smoked fish because it was cheap. So, yeah, 
I hope everybody in my party likes smoked fish because that's what we're going to eat for the next hundred years or so. Somebody leveled up. Yeah, just one man at arms left. That's why I got some Swadia militia. Ah, interesting. It's actually just a, this one man at arms. Hm. Also, as you can see, a lot of these towns are looted. That's because the uh, the Nords and the Vegirs are at war, which kind of sucks. I hate it when they fight because this is my preferred area to roam around and try to buy stuff. Uh, see, that's that's one step that I usually take. I buy cheap iron in uh, Kuro, I think it's called. Oh, there was a large bag of arrows. Should keep that. It's pretty good. Oh, now I've two of them that's that's great so iron for i think uh, under or around 100 denars is pretty good tools i'm not sure about tools i always forget what's uh, what's the price on them so that's usually what i buy here let's check the arms merchant just in case i uh, see that would would have been a huskal shield and I'm trying to decide if I want to go for a bow on my second weapon slot. And now I have the Nordic Sword and the Thick Nordic Shield. That's because, you know, your shield can break. And this one not so much. It has 400 HP so on this one as well. So they're pretty damn strong. But still, they could break. And that would, would be bad. So having a backup shield is usually a pretty good idea. Ah, damn it. Usually, um, re Rebotch or Reboche or however you want to pronounce that. And uh, Ismeralda usually have some cheap iron as well. So that's sad that they've been looted. But my usual trade run would be a huge loop. Usually I start, let's say starting Huden, then I go up here, usually to Sargoth. And of course now I'm arrived so I can't show you. Uh, nothing of value here. Uh, tools are pretty expensive. So 300 seems to be cheap. Yeah, see, and we made a 150 dinars profit of that. That's great. Let's see if they have cheap gauntlets. Out of a thousand, I don't know. Not really. Check the tavern to see if there is a ransom broker. I do think we have some. That doesn't look like it. All right. Let's move. So usually I'm gonna go up to Vercek, uh, get some cheap salt usually. Move over to Rivercek, down to Kudan. Sometimes I go down uh, Rivadin, Dirim. Oh look at that, that's now in the north uh, north control or north control. Uxkal, Suno, Praven. Praven has really really cheap ale usually, so that's why I go there. Sometimes you get ale for 50 and you can sell it for over 100. That's pretty damn good I think. Uh, sometimes the, uh, these cities, or actually villages, along the coast have salt for absolutely nothing. That's why I go there usually. Yeah, salt for, un for under 150, that's great, gonna take it. And the smoked fish is pretty cheap here, so let's get that. So that's usually how you would go about the trade route. It's it's boring as hell, believe me. I I did that. That's why I did it between episodes. So I thought uh, you wouldn't be interested in that too much. Also, I lost I think two. Uh, what's it called? Two tournaments. It was pretty sad. I got into I got up to the final round again, and then I got the bow, uh, bow and arrow versus shield and axe. And that that's pretty much a death sentence. It's it's almost impossible to, to do that. Ooh, nice. Now we have a battle against 60 or something. Oh, 75 even. Wow, that's even. That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, uh, that's what I just want to say. Hopefully we have a flat terrain. We have really flat terrain. That's great. Let's take a look. Okay, there they come. Let's put our infantry on uh, the archers about there. Get those... There, put the cavalry on the flank. What am I? Oh, that's not good. Just oh, we rolled just three infantrymen. Oh, that's superbly bad. 
But RT is going to go into town. Just kill three, that's great. Let's let them come a bit closer. I'll try to, you know, usually get their get their attention. Just riding through here. Don't mind me. Now I'm gonna let the cavalry charge since I, you know, just draw, uh, drew the attention to me. That's great. Let's let the infantry charge. Oh, that was close. Ow, Christ. Someone threw something at me, but I couldn't really see it. So now that my so now that the cavalry is here, that's great. Put them on the flank again. Because they're pretty they're pretty goddamn stupid and they sometimes just um just sometimes just get zerked. Take the infantry back. Because just we just have three infantrymen. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. I tried to dig him out of the danger. Put them back. Let the infant uh, let the cavalry charge again. Almost forgot about them. Just bad. But see, they they sometimes just get soup. They they just get stuck. And if they do, that's super bad. They get owned so hard if they stay in close range. So Mathelt got knocked out, I think, which isn't too bad. So let's see. Are the archers? Ow! Stop it! Are the archers shooting? Let's let 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 the archers move up a bit. So this guy is trying to snipe me. I don't like that. Uh, how did he block that? His bow. Uh, gotta take this guy out. Actually, this gal was a sword sister. And now I'd say everybody follow me. Infantry. Infantry, let's stick him here. Cavalry, put him there. Since new enemies arrived, I just want to, you know, pull everybody back a bit. Get into formation again. Try to get this guy, maybe, not this guy, and maybe this guy. You try to run away, but nope, won't happen. Try to dodge that one. Get the archer. Let the infantry charge. The cavalry charge. Yeah, see, I, I think the, the the hour of training really paid off. So where's the last guy? Last guys, don't know if there are more than one. Can't tell. Yeah, <laughs> look at that guy, sniping all over the map. Yeah, she's got a faster horse than I do. That's good. Don't mind me. And got the kill. Noobs. Yes, did it. So we just got had one wounded. That's great. Killed all of them. So, we're at a pretty close battle now. Should gain a lot of renown. Yeah, it's okay. Let's get, get them to follow again. Come on, stop blocking me. They do that a lot and I hate it. Alright, so now we... They will... Ch oh, there they come. Let's put the archers over there. Put the infantry right here. Oh, you know what, let's put, let's put the archers... The archers right here. Cavalry move over to about there. Can't really see the flag, which is bad, but it should be alright. What did we roll this time? Four of them. That's not too shabby. Trainee. Piss the, hell, piss the hell off. Cavalry can charge now. It should be alright. Infantry, let's go. So usually I don't buy very expensive horses for my, uh, what's what are called, uh, the, the AI, my, my companions, because they're usually so stupid and get down so often that their horses are pretty much lame all the time. Lame can actually be, well, they can recover from being lame. But they can't recover from being swaybacked, I think. Is that is that what you call what's it? What the what it blah. 
Is that the name of this disability thing or whatever? I, I can't talk. I can't talk and play. That's that's pretty bad for someone who's trying to make YouTube videos, right? Put that guy over there, put the cavalry back because they just stupidly charge into way too many people. Get stuck and get killed. I hate it. That looks alright from my perspective here. Gonna get shot in the back pretty soon. But that's why I have a shield there. Let's let them charge, let them charge. And as always, I just press Q. And I try to get... Got this. I don't know if the Q button opens up this menu and... Ah, damn it. He got me, but... My uh, horse? Actually, no, he got the horse and the horse blocked all the damage because of the armor. That's why you want... That's why you want horse armor. It's great. Let's let the... Archers move up a bit. Get the cavalry back. Because there are new enemies coming on them. Oh, no, I got a lot of damage. Need to be careful. Cavalry charge. Infantry hold that position. Just move back a bit. I want to dig him out. Need to be careful when they have spears because if you try to write them down or just you know trample them basically ah, damn it so the sword sister will get that sword sister is pretty much dead yeah that happens need to that was my own fault i should have uh i forgot about the infantry and yeah it's basically happened sometimes just writing them yeah, you know, just running them over is a good idea to dig your infantry or cavalry out of some deep doo-doo. Which happens all the time because they're so stupid sometimes. That's why I really try not to play with too much cavalry. Because they just tend to get stuck. In... and get served, basically. Okay, I'm, I'm missing the backhand swings now, that's not good. Okay, but that should have been the last one, yeah. Awesome. Hmm. So, wait a second. Weren't there 42 left? No, okay. I just thought we had to fight one round against, you know, the last guy. That would, would have been pretty hilarious. This last one is like, oh, guys, guys, where are you? Really? Do we have something that's pretty... Low. Yeah, let's get rid of the cabbage. It's not that not worth that much. Take your pole arm here. Or javelin actually. Hmm, the throwing axe is pretty expensive. I'm just trying to figure out what to get rid of. I didn't there are one hundred no, that's better actually. Okay, okay, that's great. I don't know why I just love to keep those two. Perfect! Butcher leveled up. That's great. We got two new veterans. Awesome. Two new footmen. A trained, uh, trained one leveled up to a warrior. That's also pretty good. Rolf's wounded. That sucks. Butcher leveled up. That's, that's what I wanted to look at. What can you tell me about your skills, good sir? Let's put that into intelligence so we can level up pathfinding. Pathfinding, in my opinion, is one of the most valuable things you can have. So that's great. And I'm not sure if I want to get him to, you know, power draw. Make him, an, uh, make him a horse archer, which would be pretty cool, actually. But he's not really suited for that. But he's level 4. Uh, no, no, he's level 7 now, so... Uh, he has a lot of, he has a lot of level to, leveling to do. I think I'm level 11 or something like that. So, Mathel and Rolf both wounded. Pretty bad. Arty should level up soon, hopefully, so he can get surgery leveled up. That would be great. So, let's go to Rivercheck, sell all the crap that we just got. Let's see. Arms Merchant, you have enough money? Nope, he doesn't. Huh. A cracked one, that sucks. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything that I want. 
Uh, let's get rid of some of these. Rusty can go. Okay, now he has almost enough. Oh, we just took almost his uh, all of his money. Salt over 250, pretty good. Gonna take that. And he has enough money to buy all that as well. Great. And the rusty one can go. I'm I'm just gonna keep one in case uh, we get a new character. Hmm. Great helmet. Hmm. No, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the to um with the Bernie. I think we need we need a new we need a new armor. That's that's really what I need. Let's see some horses. Nope, not really. So we have six grand now, which is good. And no, nicer is not what I want. It's uh, less solid, less solid or less elite. I have no idea. Uh, it's the last guy that we need. So basically, I'm not gonna buy anything here. But usually, I'm I'm going down to Kudan, fight Tundra Bandits along this uh, along this road, and you know just buy up some more iron and then maybe move down to there, something like that. Or we could try and fight some more sea raiders. But since we're close to the end of this episode, they're trying to get me. No, actually we are at the end of this episode, sorry, we're going to fight them in the next one. So thanks for watching guys, hope to see you next time and as always, auf Wiedersehen!